Hello everyone. Kamuna Chin Shobal. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi. So uh, we are again at the platform of Bangladesh Creative Forum, and this is our uh, third episode of season one. So Amra uh, Eta, it is the number episode of Achi Amra Achke. Uh, AJ crisis situation that we uh, amazingly weird and surreal situation in we all the whole world is now so etake connect korar jonne ebong amra the shobar sathe songjukto thakte pari for that notion we started this uh, platform and i think creative people like, we are all creative uh, we deal with creativity in so many different level so i think from that notion uh, this uh, platform is on so ajke amra je topic to niye kotha bolbo je joto amra je sufferings er moddhe diye taki adaptation and transformation amader jonno it's a key thing for now and it is never ending not only now i'm sure you all agree that it's not only for now adapting uh, adapting and transformation is for livelihood is always been there was always been there has been there so ajke amra jeta niye bolbo the show must go on seeking connection through art on digital platform so ama ami ekta ekjon ke boli karo ekta khub shobdo hocche can you check kar ekta uh ekta Mm. I'm too off track to show by here for a while to understand the sound. Okay, I got it, Samuel. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. So, uh. Thank you. Ah. All they are like my friends and my favorites. So I mean Nam Gulo Bolidita Chai, Jodi Apnara kindly, Kabai Shabar Puri Chata Amade Jar audience such a tadid Junotin. That will be really great and we can connect to all. So I mean first day Bolchi uh, Samuel, could you please uh, tell about you a little bit? Uh, hi Prima, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, I am the founder of the School of Slow Media um, and also the managing partner and the director of Tapi Story, which is a production company that uh, focuses on telling stories of social impact, of development around the world. Um, and then with the School of Slow Media, we've been dedicated in creating spaces of reflection, of creativity for people in Southeast Asia, but also we ran it in Dhaka. Um, and I think that's I think that's a good summary for now. I'm sure we'll have a lot more chance to to talk about these things. Great, uh, great to have you again. And I fondly remember those times that when you were here in Dhaka. Now, Shubho uh, Shaha, could you please say something? Hi, um, I'm a visual artist, and I run a lot of organizations called Backup Foundation and. From Backup Foundation, we organize several art projects that I sometimes manage and curate. So, uh, there are several uh, members we have, those who also curate and conduct the whole workshops. Also, we have one uh, strand called Dhaka Live at Biennale that is going to be uh, um, taking place in the next year, the third edition. Yeah, post pandemic, we must say. Now, let's come to Jishan Kingshukhok. Yeah, post pandemic. Um, I'm Jishan Kingshukhok. I'm the co founder and CEO of Sindaba.com. It's the uh, country's leading uh, B2B e commerce site. I have been with e commerce, but uh, prior to that, um, I had been with many other organizations in many places, and uh, I have been an avid art lover. Um, I do try to collect art. I, I have some arts in collection and i um, happy to be here uh, to engage into understanding what e-commerce, how e-commerce and how online marketing of art can actually help. Perfect. That's why we are really glad to have you with us. And now okay. welcome to Kabir Ahmed Mahmoud Chishki. Uh, 
আমার মধ্যে অনেক রকম চেঞ্জও আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি তা আমি প্রথম দিকে শুনছিলাম যে আমাদের প্রত্যেকের ভিতরে উই উইল গো থ্রু আর সাইকোলজিক্যাল ট্রান্সফরমেশন এস ওয়েল তো লাইফস্টাইল চেঞ্জ তো আছেই আমার মধ্যে একটা গভীর সাইকোলজিক্যাল চেঞ্জ এসছে যেটাকে আমি বলতে চাচ্ছি রিফ্লেকশন ছিল এতদিন ইন্ট্রোস্পেকশন ছিল এতদিন এখন ওটার মধ্যে যোগ হয়েছে অনেকটা এক ধরনের আমি ট্রমা বলতে চাই না এক ধরনের অনিশ্চয়তা আনসার্টেনিটি সো এই আনসার্টেনিটিটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি এক ধরনের চ্যালেঞ্জ তো এই আনসার্টেনিটিটাকে জয় করার জন্য আমাদের মনে হয় কানেকটিভিটি এবং ব্রিজিং দ্য গ্যাপ খুবই জরুরি হয়ে পড়েছে তো যতবারই আমি বিভিন্ন ধরনের ওয়েবিনারের মাধ্যমে সবার সাথে সংযুক্ত হচ্ছি ততবার আমি সবার মাধ্যমে নিজেকে আবার খুঁজে পাচ্ছি তো ফর স্যামুয়েল আই উড লাইক টু সে দ্যাট উই আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি কানেক্টিভ ডট টু বি কানেক্টেড or vice versa to be connected we are connecting dots so now could you please guys tell me very simply apnara prottekei shomoy ta kibhabe creatively par korchen ba ki challenge ta par korchen khub briefly jodi bolen tale amra aro kichu onek important jaga guli niye kotha bolte parbo kake bolbo tishan could you give us some feedback um first of all i am the least of the artists among all the six people here <laughs> so i am more on the other side where i will appreciate art and i'll see things i'm doing my only thing i'm doing is um i'm trying to learn uh, keyboard which is just right beside me <laughs> that's possibly the only form of creativity and obviously i'm helping my girls uh, my daughters uh, to do new things um I, for for us it's uh, as i was saying it's an interesting situation businesses are very challenged um so as a business person uh, we are running the company we are one of the very few companies in sindabad.com where um, i think we are one of the 7 to 10 companies who are actually being able to operate in full scale during this uh, closure and um, yes business is down by anything between 40 to 60% or even more uh, but i think at least uh, the good thing is we are surviving and we are running the operation the number of orders are going up we can the other good thing that we can see um, which is a huge positive thing is that um, working from home has become the new normal the new normal has also become uh, people searching online for anything that is new uh and people are now trying to also look for opportunities to learn new things to look for new things so why not also look for art in the online media i am most certain that people will be coming more and more i mean the way i see what we have been able to achieve in the last 5 weeks of this lockdown uh, i don't think we have achieved so much as in terms of uh, online traffic 
in the last five years of e-commerce. So consumers and people are far more internet savvy. savvy. They are coming to uh, either Facebook and online media. They are coming more and more. So I see it as a greater opportunity. Correct. I mean, I should work with cash. The chai, I mean, you can take a pandemic to show you how people are locked down and how marist. So, I mean, no, look up for lunch. Artists has been very, very proactively that I engage with a digital platform as shape because we actually trying to support them as well as we want to engage. Uh, We are trying to engage artists and we are trying to gather audience to the artwork and a different um, situation. So bio network, the initiative to back art run korte, theater backer amik tu jante chai karon oiter clue dure amra janbo, jamra post pandemic ba in the long run how amra art ke kikore digital platform er marfote sustainable korbo, ebong practice ta ke ragbo dure. Uh, thank you, Priyanka. So, uh, bio network actually, uh, is only a perfect sector art project. We have to do it. Because art project, we have to do it. Color for after post production, we have to do it. Social media, we have to But it is specifically, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to Basha বসে আছে পাশাপাশি তারাও খুব তা খুব ছবি আছে শুধু আর্টিস্ট না অন্যান্য অনেকেই তাদের বিভিন্ন ক্রিয়েটিভিটি নিয়ে আসছে কেউ চা এর কফি মগে বিভিন্ন ভাবে নানান ভাবে কফি সাজাচ্ছে কিংবা খাবার দাবার সাজাচ্ছে কিংবা বাসায় হেল্প করতেছে বাবা মার সাথে সময় কাটাচ্ছে তো এইগুলোকে আসলে কালেক্ট করার একটা চিন্তা থেকে এই আর্ট প্রজেক্টটা আমরা শুরু করি দেন আমরা আমরা আমাদের যে টিমটা একসাথে কাজ করতেছে না তো তাদের সাথে যখন আলাপ করার পরে তখন আমরা বের হয়ে আসলাম যে আসলে একটা এক্সিবিশন অনলাইন এক্সিবিশন আমরা শুরু করতে চাই যাতে করে প্রতিদিন এক একজন এক একটা প্লটে আমরা তাদেরকে তাদের কাজ তারা কি করছে তাদের তাদের বিষয়ে কথাবার্তা তখন প্রত্যেকটা আর্টিস্ট তাদের সম্পর্কে কিছুক্ষণ কিছুক্ষণ কথা বলছে একটা ইন্ট্রোডাকশন যাচ্ছে আবার কিছুক্ষণ পর তাদের তাদের একটা কাজের প্রোফাইল যাচ্ছে আবার একটা কাজের প্রোফাইল সেভাবে এক সারা দিন একটা একটা আর্টিস্টের বিভিন্ন অ্যাক্টিভিটি আমরা পাবলিশ করার চেষ্টা করি এই চিন্তা থেকে আসলে বায়ো নেটওয়ার্কটা আসার বায়ো নেটওয়ার্ক নামটা কথাবার্তার মধ্যেই আসা যাচ্ছে অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমরা এখন সর্বোচ্চ সময় দিচ্ছি ইন্টারনেটে একটা একটা বায়োলজিক্যাল মানে একটা ইকোলজি একটা ইকোলজিক্যাল একটা সার্কেলের মধ্যে দিয়ে আমরা আসলে একজন একজনের সাথে কানেক্টেড হচ্ছি সবার সাথে জানা শোনা যাচ্ছে তো আমি এই প্রজেক্টের জন্য আসলে খুব থ্যাঙ্কফুল সঞ্জিত মাহমুদ মাহমুদ সিদ্দিকা এবং হচ্ছে আরেকজন এসিস্টেন ক্রিয়েটর আফসানা হাসান সে উচ্ছেষ দিক মানে তারা আসলে না থাকলে এই প্রজেক্ট কখনোই আপনার তুলতে পারতেন না কারণ বাসায় থেকে তারা যেভাবে আসলে নার্চার করছে প্রত্যেকটা আর্টিস্টের সাথে ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালি কথাবার্তা বলার মধ্যে দিয়ে তো এইভাবে প্রজেক্টটা এখনো পর্যন্ত চলছে मीडिया So it it worked during the fast paced world. Now the world's been slowed down. And the shop back on Kore Boshe. We are trying to handle the thing slowly. So now this school, slow school media, full of slow media, how it is dealing with the situation right now. And you are in USA, you said, right now? Yes. Um Well, I, I think I think we are living in a moment where we've been forced to slow down, uh, but that's not to say that people want to necessarily slow down. So I think a lot of it has to do with the interior condition of people's of people's spirit of people's minds. So it's more like a child who's been told that they've been bad, and now they have to be in the corner and they have to face the corner. Does that child understand that they, that there is a need for transformation? Like what what we've been doing so far hasn't been working. So once I leave that space. 
Will I change my behavior? Will I slow down enough to think about what comes next? Or the child might, might be thinking, I can't wait to get out of this corner so I can do what I was doing before because that's what I love. That's what I know how to do. What I've seen is a lot of people just who can't wait. A lot of people are like, I can't wait to be back on the streets. When can we reopen uh, the markets? When can capitalism go back to being exactly what it was? So for me, this is a space of forced contemplation for people, forced reflection as to the means of production, growth, like what, is, what does this all mean for our own sense of self and for our communities? And School of Soul Media tries to create spaces where we ask that question and, and what the role of art and what the role of creating is in that, in that time of reflection. I think I think the last thing I'll say about that is, which is really, really a, a big point, is that it also brings up the point as to, are we really listening to each other? Um, can, and and obvious, obviously, because now we have a, what we what we call, or what we've heard other people call Zoom fatigue. We're on Zoom calls six, seven times a day. At the oh, point where I've, I've been looking tell at me about it. I've been looking at my screen, but also I've been looking at myself for so many hours, because let's be honest, half the time it's the struggle between looking at yourself and looking at the participants and being like, I'm looking at myself a little bit too much. Correct. So I wanna, I wanna tie that into the question of, of art because the question of presence is an important part about art. What does it mean to be seen? What does it mean to be heard? Is an artist seen or heard uh, in, in this day and age through Zoom, through digital platforms? And so that question is really important because we're asking, we are calling people to try to listen with more than just their eyes or just their ears. What does it mean to listen with our whole bodies? Um, what does it mean to really see? And the artist's role is to question what it means to see and to be seen, to be present, especially when the body is, can't be present. So those are questions that I think are, are really important as we slow down. How much people actually do, in, you know, they can consume them, but how much they actually metabolize those questions, internalize them enough to change their behavior, that's yet to be seen. But I'll finish with this. I've never been an optimist about big, massive change being what tilts the balance. I believe it's small communities everywhere that really start to tilt the balance in their respective communities. And I think that that is happening and that gives me hope. Thank you so much. That is such a, a profound uh, statement uh, describing this situation, Samuel. Now, uh, Masum Chishti, can you hear me? Apti ki shunte pakche na makhe? I think uh, Chishti bhai's um, mic is switched off. So maybe you can switch yeah. off everyone else's mic and only on Chishti bhai's mic. But uh, everybody's. Yeah, this uh, is on. Maybe this is on. Hey, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Pachi. Yeah, Pachi. Yeah, Pachi. Yeah, Yeah, Pachi. 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 Yeah, virtual world too much of ourselves is con like really taking ourselves uh, somewhere else so i think that is a very good question uh, it's a God gifted time, maybe. Uh, uh, was it? Uh, turn the time. Uh, he has shaken our time to record, turn to record it. Uh, 90 degree turn. After this corona situation, it's a turning to the hobby. Kimba 
already ha uh, apnar kotha shunte pachhen apni shunte pachhen shobai ki shunte pachhe onake ha shunte pachhi motamoti shunte pachhi acha hello ha bol ami shunte pachhi ami bolen ami shunte pachhi रिफर्म कर सोशल रिफर्म हवा मान टोटल कलेेक्टिव এনার্জি রিফর্মিং এর টাইম আসলে এটা তো এই সময় অনেক বেশি করতেছেন যত না করতেছি যে কোশ্চেন করতেছি নিজেকে কিংবা কোশ্চেনের অ্যানসার করতেছি অনেকটা এরকম হয়তো কিছু এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করতেছি কোন কিছু যেটা রেজাল্ট আসলে আফটার দিস প্যান্ডেমিক পিরিয়ড কি হতে পারে गार्डनिंग छोटिंग <laughs> and uh, because it's a collective situation yeah, yeah. collective uh, disaster bolte paro kintu etar onek positive thing ache jemon kono kichu ak ak jodi machine e amra dukai ningra ta theke ek dhoron bosh tori hoy tori hoy so i'm looking for to matching the sugar figure डिफिकल्टी as with the whole j whole globe as an artist we are facing too many difficulties because artists we cannot go out somehow for me i cannot go to my studio so like after two three weeks we the member from art for art initiative we can we can do something so in lockdown er moddhe theke amra ek dhoroner hapiye uthchilam je amra ashole ki korbo as an artist as an organizational team member so finally we think we uh, previously we do video art festival in terms of video art festival then we think this is the time people are spending lot of time through the digitally so we can make a uh, digital activity during the pandemic time so basically two things we face this moment people are mostly uh they can go out so there have two things happening here in the pandemic restricted the people's freedom because we are locked down we can go out and on the other hand we have to maintain the social distance this is basically reverse to our lifestyle as an artist we are used to be close to each other we are being more free to our art world as well as our activities mm. in the other hand the nature is being the reverse the birds they are being more free 
the nature are the more green they are uh, they are basically to back their own environment so the one minute beauty world is basically this is the time what people face in their lockdown moment at home at a studio at outside and abroad so they can capture their own moment own feeling what their face what should be in the next so they can make their own feelings own video own artwork own imagination during the lockdown and the isolation time so this is basically very simple issues but the show title was borderless lockdown because this is the first time the whole world is being in a same crisis so our notion is to make a online uh, exhibition it it will go through the youtube as well as our own website so ei show er madhye amra open call korechi open call theke during this uh, two weeks we get lot of applications from the uh, artist in the whole globe so we hope it will be a nice show and especially thanks uh, my another curator sofia mofa uh, she is from italy and staying in uk so me and uh, sofia we are doing jointly curated this uh, video art one minute video art exhibition so dekha jacche ei ei dhoroner kaj gular modhe jotheshto collaboration er ekta scope toiri hoyeche co creation er so so the world has become one now so je jekhanei thakuk tara ek jagay ekta platform ke mathay rekhe kaj korar sujog pacche jishaner kache ekhon jeta relative proshno i would like to ask you that or give your feedback that ei je ekta orientational gift hocche হ্যাঁ ইভেন হোয়াট ইউ স্টার্টেড ফিজিক্যাল জায়গা থেকে আমরা বেরিয়ে আমরা অনলাইনে চলে আসছি সো আর্টিস্টরাও আমাদেরকে এতক্ষণ সেটা শেয়ার করলো যে আমরা যারা আর্ট ফিল্ডে আছি আর্টিস্ট হিসেবে আছি ক্রিয়েটিভ ফিল্ডে আছি তারা সবসময় প্রেজেন্ট থাকতাম একটা রিয়েল জায়গাতে কিন্তু ওখান থেকে আমরা ফিরে এখন তৈরি আমরা এসে গেছি ডিজিটাল প্ল্যাটফর্মে এই ওরিয়েন্টেশন শিফটটাকে আমরা কি করে হ্যান্ডেল করব হোয়াট উড বি ইউর সাজেশন টু দি আর্টিস্ট কমিউনিটি হ্যান্ডেলিং দিস মেজর শিফট ইন দেয়ার লাইফ স্টাইল ইন দেয়ার প্র্যাকটিস ওয়েল ফার্স্ট অফ অল আই উড লাভ টু হ্যাভ কফি উইথ অল সিক্স অফ ইউ সামটাইমস but now because of covid we are not being able to have uh, this interesting conversation over a cup of coffee amra shobai ekta pore coffee baniye niye ashbo tapor boshbo no no what i am saying is that i mean just uh, metaphorically i'm speaking that maybe the conversation that we would be having over a cup of coffee correct we are today right now we are actually having on an online pl- platform in streamyard sure. or in facebook or something like that Correct. Uh, maybe we were, as Samuel was saying, maybe we were doing meetings uh, physically, going to places or calling people and having a conference call. But mm-hmm. today we are doing it through Zoom or Team or other various video meeting um, platform. So life really hasn't stopped. Hmm. And nothing has, uh, nothing will actually come to a stop. It's just... i think a change of mindset that we have to accept we need to accept that this is the new new we have mm. to accept that the same conversation will be going the same um, conversation over a cup of coffee will be happening but possibly not in a cafe maybe on an online platform mm. likewise showcasing of our art forms will keep continue to happen but maybe on an online platform so we have to understand how we can do that do you want me to answer that right now or um, you want me to elaborate on it ha yeah please do because orientation shift kora ta ekta ekta challenge er moto amra amra whimsically korchi but amra sustainable thakte parbo kina seta ekta kotha so first and foremost thing um, i mean i'm talking about uh, from a very general perspective first and foremost thing is that we need to accept that this is the new reality after accepting it we have to create our own online presence now artists 
um, and creative people. I myself have, uh, I myself used to be a creative director in a leading advertising agency. So I can tell you, um, artists and visualizers and creative people are not necessarily the best in marketing. Correct. Mm. Don't That's kill me for it. That's also another point that I will come to it. Hmm. So I personally feel that maybe you don't have to uh, very aggressively or very um, vocally uh, go out and market your products. You don't have to do that. So how do you actually promote your art? I mean, you will continue to do art in the usual canvas or maybe on a regular sketch, but you can also try to look at digital medias to do your art. But even if you continue on your traditional media, I think the first and foremost thing that you should do as an artist is possibly make an online portfolio. There are thousands of websites, very easy. You can use Wix. There is a Shopify. There are various templates which are available. Make an online nice portfolio of your arts. That's number one. Number two that the artists do is to interact with each other. So maybe what you can do is you can find other similar or like-minded artists in other forums or other blogs, and you can start commenting and discuss, uh, start discussions in either Facebook platform or any other blogs or anywhere, but start that engagement. So one is your, the first is to accept that this is the new reality, so we have to come online. Second is make, a, uh, your own portfolio online. And third is start interacting with people. In making your own platform, maybe it will be good if you have a website. In parallel to that, you can also have your own um, social media page or presence. You can do a Facebook um, page or and or you can do an Instagram because Instagram is pretty popular for artists and creative people. Uh, in addition to that, what um, Shagur Bhai, I mean, Oshim is doing, um, making videos is very um, effective way of promoting your art. You see, buyers of art or um, how should I say, customers of art, not necessarily buyers. Some people also come to simply appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I may use the word customers of art, how will they access your art and why do they appreciate art? Every art has a story behind it. Now this story is sometimes left to the viewer or the audience to figure out or interpret. Sometimes this story is told by the artist at least halfway to connect the reality or his uh, perspective with the art form and the expression and etc. Why don't you go ahead, make a small video on how you made this art, why you made it, and tell the story. And I think if, if we start doing it, if the artists start doing it, even, even if it's on a Facebook, social media kind of a place, it will definite, definitely create engagements. I am most definite. So once the artists can engage themselves with fellow artists, as well as consumers or viewers, I think the art um, exhibitions that we are missing elsewhere or the uh, exposure of art that we are missing will be mitigated. So I'm again telling you, it's just nothing will stop. It's just that possibly the media and medium and the presentation that will possibly change. That's it. Thank you for your take, Tishan. Uh, Samuel, uh, relevantly, I'm just connecting uh, with Tishan's uh, statement that how are you looking at your engagement of making connection in the post-COVID era, which is very relevant what just he said? How, are, how am I and how are we looking for connection in the post-COVID era? COVID era, yeah. Uh, specifically, we are trying to do exactly what I said previously. Which in, is in the context of School of Slow Media's engagement, to be honest. Right. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to engage people as a full person, as a full body. And so mm -hmm. how are we doing that? So yesterday we finished the last session of a series we called Retune. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind Retune was to give people a space uh, to, to just express how they were feeling about their situation.
Hmm. But instead of having some fast food, uh, some fast food empathy option where it's like, I, I feel like I can express everything. And then I go back to my world. The idea was, to, we called it a listening gym. Hmm. For an hour and a half, you come and you practice listening. Listening for the sake of listening. Listening hmm. with your body. So we do mindfulness uh, sitting yeah. practice. We do body work. And then we integrate that with sharing about a particular theme or subject. So we talked about objects. We talked about time. We talked about spaces. We talked about family. And the idea behind it is, and it's for me, it's very, very similar to what the purpose of art is as a, as a filmmaker and as a documentary filmmaker, which is to show you something you thought you knew mm -hmm. and change the angle enough that it is refamiliarizing yourself with it and changing mm -hmm. your relationship to it. All contemplation, all reflection, mysticism is to some degree the refamiliarizing yourself with the world as you thought you knew it and making it anew. And so we believe that by having these small spaces where communities can say, what does my family really mean? I've been, I've, I, they're in my home, they're like irritating me. I hear the kids, I hear, I know them, I see them all the time, but have I really reacquainted myself with what they mean to me and have I transformed the relationship that I have with them? Hmm. Same thing with, with objects, with my phone, with my pen. I use them all the time, but do I really understand how they serve me or whether I serve them? Hmm. So that that is one of the things that we've been doing. So we did eight sessions, uh, but the, the, the other thing that we're trying to, that we're in the midst of developing is we're developing um, kind of a conference, like an online conference, uh, one, of, one of the things that we do is we do trainings around filmmaking and we use filmmaking, the art form, as a way of understanding ourselves, our communities and our systems better. We, we've done that in DACA um, for the Women in Leadership Forum. We've done that in uh, Tokyo, Phnom Penh, Hanoi and Manila. We've done 10 of these over the last three years, each one with around 20 to 40 people live and in person. But for the COVID era, we thought, well, wouldn't it be wonderful? Wouldn't it be beautiful if we could actually do this online and have local artists, local change makers, capture stories of the everyday, everyday stories in their cities and cre create a, a massive mosaic, a moving mosaic of what everyday life means in these places, particularly as life is changing. And, and kind of, to, to, be, to be quite honest, a little bit subversive in taking away the power of mainstream media and even, and even elite artists to say, this is who we are. This is what our cities are about. And, create, and this mosaic, again, would be curated, would be online. And the idea would be like, this is the tea sellers. These are the cab drivers. These are the tuk-tuk drivers. These are the priests and the doctors. This is who we are as a whole created by us for us this is our story and in doing so we also are changing the relationship that people have to themselves to their own cities like yes i see myself identified in that so the, the goal of the school school media is not just reflection for the sake of reflection or art for the sake of art but to transform the relationship with things that we have taken for granted and in that to some degree move us closer towards intimacy and closer to each other in that um not just not just fast food empathy, but truly to become more attuned to each other. Mm. Very interesting and very important take, Samuel, because I think that what you just uh, said, that it is more than reflection, because we have been doing so many things, enormous amount of uh, art being produced. But what is that for? So we need to ask ourselves that question again and again, why we do art, why we are being creative for what is what's the reason what's the context and what is the vision that that holds the art that we are making we have been making ever since so that this pandemic situation actually giving us the opportunity to shifting the mindset also for an artist even though we are imaginative creative we are making amazing artwork but so many artwork all over the world we see, but what impact that it make, or is there a new impact that we're gonna see? That is also something to ponder on and reflect on. From that notion, whom I should come? Shubo, would you tell us that when you do this uh, bio network uh, 
initiative because it is a major shift from your uh, live art biennale that I have been a part of two last two years. So it is a different dimension altogether. So what happened that sometime when we change our dimension, because it was a very, it's actually forced us to change the dimension. We, we didn't choose the situation actually. This time we, we never, we didn't choose it. We forced to take this situation, right? So when we force it to take it, but while you are doing this initiative now uh, uh, online, digitally, you would give us some, uh, some uh, clue to think deeply about the whole situation for that matter. Sorry, sorry, one moment, one moment. Yeah, one moment. I mean, sorry, I didn't notice. Shunta Pacho Akun, Amito Dichi to Miki Pacho. You were Bolo. Okay, so uh, digital media today uh, and, and in, in the context of Bangladesh, uh, basically in the art scene, it is still in the transitional period, when going through a transitional period, that we use this medium as a tool. Uh, we post on online, we go online sometime, and we post this, all this, our all our archives in the social medias. But this time, we have nothing to do to take this opportunity. We cannot go outside. We cannot go meet people. So that's mm -hmm. why we take this initiative there is nothing, uh, we have no other choices. Also, there is one reason that we choose this and take this action immediately because we faced that and also we saw that there are a lot of friends and artists, even uh, people from different disciplines, they are being frustrated. They are passing several comments on social medias and they are also they are somehow enjoying the moments in different way and also also they sometimes i've we found that they are uh, finding new relationships uh, with the with the things that they are facing previously before this pandemic so we're just trying to focus on that maybe this initiative could somehow inspire those people maybe somehow they can uh, learn from these initiatives or activities that artists are doing, maybe it could be an inspiring uh, event for those all those people, those who are uh, staying at the home in our lockdown mode. So, actually, this is uh, we, we to inspire all those all the people. We initially initiated this uh, uh, project. I mean, it's an exhibition that we, still going on, but. Uh, in regards of sustainability, uh, we have some plan to go uh, uh, just invite all the artists to talk about their practice and also what they are think thinking uh, to do like one month later or two months later, because we, can, we cannot tell that it is a post-COVID post, post -COVID what should, you should do. Because uh, as we believe that the, this virus, this situation will not overcome. It will continue. So we have to go with it. So how they are thinking to uh, uh, go with these situations and how they are uh, going to react to these uh, tools they have uh, in their home or how they're going to do with this thing. So we are, go we, we are planning to ask them to uh, go online and uh, have a discussion with us and share their ideas. So one by one, we, we are gonna do this. And also uh, we are trying to find a, a proper platform. Like still we are like, uh, we don't know enough how to, uh, how to expose these uh, images and the videos in proper way online. Still we are struggling with these things properly because you know, uh, uh, 
uh, very few people are, uh, I mean, I, I think very, still there are very few people we, we, we know that we don't know how to, how to operate all those uh, key tools exactly in proper way. Still, we are trying to learn all these things and trying to find the solutions. Well, well said. In fact, I need to. I want to add here that Bangladesh Creative Forum launched four years back uh, from the idea that we're gonna link the uh, link us all together because it is very important that our protected creative sector. See, this pandemic actually brings us, force us to being together. So, ekhane digital marketers need ache. Artists there, artists there, Dorkarache audience there, student there, Dorkarache platformer. So there are a lot of integration need to be happen. Jeta Bangladesh Akono need to work on it. Jishan, what do you think about it? Most definitely. Uh, I mean, not only Bangladesh, I think worldwide, uh, everyone um, will try to understand and try to kind of uh, internalize. Um, the online, uh, uh, the interaction in online platforms. Uh, at Udin, uh, so far it has been limited into Facebook and a little bit of Instagram and stuff like that and Twitter. But now it's more visual, as Samuel uh, earlier said. I mean, it's with the whole body. You are coming and you are interacting. So obviously it's going to change. And you are very right. Um, there are lots of courses online which are being offered at a very uh, discounted prices. Can some are our, free too. Some, some are, are free, free I noticed. Yeah. My question is, for example, I was just thinking, again, I'm not the artist here. You are, the, uh, you people are artists. So I'm, uh, take my, I'm here learning more from you. But I was thinking from the opposite side. Uh, could uh, Graphic Arts Institute or could uh, the Creative Forum get together and launch a few courses online. Uh, there are a lot of people who are doing it. I mean, my daughter, this Poela Boishak, my daughter has submitted her school project purely digitally. She has um, used her uh, used an app on uh, on mobile, and she did her own um, Alpona and stuff like that, and she has submitted it fully digitally. So I'm sure there will be, as you have rightly said, I mean, students will be eager to look for opportunities. They are more, um, how should I say, uh, they are more uh, keen on coming to online and learning things online. And I'm sure there are a lot of opportunities for the artists to contribute there. Yeah. Collaboration is another huge thing. Um, digital art itself is part of a mixed media strategy. So I can clearly see that uh, people from various creative platforms can come together and create a common thing. I have already seen um, musicians and uh, uh, recitation artists and um, uh, novelists coming together in a single platform. I'm sure artists can collaborate with photographers, for example. I'm sure there are a lot of collaboration opportunities. Mm. And that's a very good point because I was noticing that uh, what we do, we are, we have been doing that we are. Uh, performing as a single we unit platform or initiative but this is not the time for single unit initiative like even from today's uh, webinar i could see a lot of possibility among us so you know what last time when i did something after finishing that i remember uh, the uh, participant actually called me to take each other's number and contact and after three to four days, I saw the new initiative coming up from those participants. So this is very important. We need to be open minded to collaborate yeah. with each other. Open mind is one thing that we really need to uh, practice to overcome this trauma and to deal post COVID situation, guys, it is super important to collaborate, to connect, and to really be together. Shagor, Toma ke jita jante chay amiya kon Toma response ki pela. Aj ekta initiative kolle one minute video. So response kya mon hoteche? It's a very important. Abong tu bikhub important point gula mader ke jodi share koro je response ta kya mon? Na ki ekono manush ki bhutte pachche jinista na ki you are there still struggling to understand. Or how you are seeing the things in uh, future? What will the sh uh, situ uh, how it will shape up? 
uh, actually uh, the response is very good because uh, this is a very highly digital moment to everyone people are spending a lot of time through the digitally and they have uh, everyone have the digital equipment like if they, everyone has a good mobile camera as well so people are really interested and uh, we have a lot of application yet and the most thing for the initiative i'm an artist and i'm an organizer so art pro is a promotional platform we are trying to promotion the local and international artists as well so this time we are also facing difficulties to stay home staying home and working into the room so through the, uh, as the thinking of organization we are trying to uh, accommodate the video artists in a platform to mm. make a exhibition and shuti karthe bolle je ei open call er madhye ekon to amra onek bisher onek gulo deshe onek artist er kaj jomon koreche ebong amra je target ni ashole open call ta diyechhilam bhabte chhilam je amra ei rokom ekta range er moddhe artist der ke hoyto rakhte chai to ami jani na shesh porjonto seta rakhte parbo kina kintu shuti karthe bolle je amader deshe ekhon porjonto ei contemporary art boli kinba video art ba ei jayga ta boli amader deshe artist er agroher shongkha ta onek kom যদি এর আগে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ভিডিও ফেস্টিভ্যালে আমরা একটা ওয়ার্কশপও করিয়েছিলাম সেই ওয়ার্কশপে আমরা নতুন কিছু যারা ভিডিও আর্ট করতে চায় সেই আর্টিস্টদেরকে ওয়েলকাম করে আমরা একটা ওয়ার্কশপও কন্ডাক্ট করেছিলাম কিন্তু সত্যি কথা যদি বলি এই ওপেন কলে বাংলাদেশি তরুণদের কাছ থেকে আমরা অনেক বেশি প্রত্যাশা করেছিলাম সেই প্রত্যাশার জায়গাটা তুলনামূলকভাবে কম যেটা বাইরের আর্টিস্টরা যত বেশি রেসপন্স করছে আমাদের দেশের আর্টিস্টরা তত বেশি রেসপন্স করছে না रिडिफाइन कर and that their responsibility towards the community and society as a whole so masum uh, chishti shobar kotha shonar pore i am now opening up your microphone and please tell me if you uh, okay so what do you think art er shei kemon hote jacche samne bangladesher art scenery ki rokom shei pop korbe after covid because amader deshe prochur constraint ache art community te amader deshe artist onek ache artist der gallery nai showcase er space nai notun notun initiative ache initiative fund korar manush nai organization nai there is no copyright law as such digitally eto art beriye jabe how we will copyright take ki kore amra etake rakhbo so apni kibhabe dekhtechen amader art ta kon dike लिमिटेशन जरा कनेक्शन खुब स्लो ने What happened? Should the button I can? Maybe you can. Somebody's playing. 
Maybe you can adaptation, mute everyone. Adaptation. 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 Hotche? Masum bhai off. Off sound off. Acha Masum bhai kya bar amra shujok dey dhukar. Samuel, I want to come to you now. Uh, uh, can you hear me, Samuel? Mm -hmm. Acha. Yes. So now tell me that so many art going around through digital platform so my concern always been there that too many content is out there mm -hmm. so how and it's, it's taken by anybody using anybody can use it and uh, because i noticed recently um, uh, my one of my piece has been used by other platform that i didn't knew so, uh, no so somebody informed me so i just told them that they cannot use it so how you tackle this situation how we can work on that so that's a pretty big... of digital platform so is the question that you're asking around the... like an idea like it is in your idea so idea has a copyright right right so how a digital era uh, in digital era how we will uh, have the copyright of our own ideas um that's a great question and that's a question for which i'm not an expert uh but i think it does bring up the question of ownership hmm. and how much ownership artists have over the art they create hmm. uh it, you know if if we think about what art is Maybe let's talk about the word representation. Hmm. You started off by talking about presence, right? If an artist is representing something, hmm. and particularly in an age where, be, where we're being inspired by so many things, as a filmmaker, you're always copying from other people, hmm. right? You're always copying, 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 and re and and reframing, reframing, reframing. And you know, most artists have that practice. At what point? does it stop being yours? And at what point does it become somebody else's? Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I do know that it is very problematically tied to the issue of the marketplace. Because the marketplace used to be the place where the home and the market used to be separate. And so the marketplace was the place where everybody's yelling and everybody's yelling to tell to give you what you think you want. And so what you your desire is shaped by the marketplace. But then you get to go home and the voices stop and you're like, I'm in a place where I don't have to sell anything and I don't have to sell myself, I don't have to sell my kids, I don't have to sell anything. I can eat, I can sleep, I can do all the things I can do. But now the marketplace is everywhere. Hmm. Everything is being sold. And even now, like on this call, as a filmmaker and as artists, we are, we are literally framing ourselves and everything that we frame is what we're selling at this moment. Whether it's school or media, whether one-minute videos, it's a way of we're representing ourselves. Does that mean that Bangladesh Creative Forum owns it, owns our image moving forward from this webinar? Does that mean that how we've presented ourselves is now part of Bangladesh Creative Forum's larger branding effort? Does it mean that because I have a yoga mat in the background or an overexposed light, that's exactly who I am in this one hour and that's who you get to take away and say, this is so well, and this is how we keep part of our representation. Hmm. All those questions are questions that artists have to ask themselves as they become entrepreneurs and, and marketers, because hmm. they will be shaped by the marketplace first and foremost. Hmm. And that's not new. Art, art dealers and art connoisseurs, elite art, art buyers, have always shaped the marketplace by, by, by saying which values were the most sure. important. So we're valuing this form, we're valuing this texture, this, this season we're valuing this. And that's why the Biennales are so Im important in quotation marks. Whatever, whatever, the, whatever those who know say is important, then it becomes important worldwide. Hmm. But, but that's becoming more flattened. And as you said, now any person on Instagram can be like, hey, I like Prima's painting. Let's just use that. And, and we don't even have to use her name anymore. Mm -hmm. So that question of whether you are represented in your work, are you mm -hmm. present in your work, is a, is a good question. How important is the artist anymore at all? Mm -hmm. and, and so like, in that sense, artists no longer have to answer the question, why am I making art? But mm -hmm. am I... How, how in my art am I? 
how present within my art do I feature? And is that even important at all? Which brings us back to the question of why do we make art in the first place at all? Is it to move people? Is it to make us less lonely? Is it to transport people away from their reality? Or is it to draw them deeper in, into understanding? All of those might be the answer. But I, I will, I'll finish that by saying the following. There is a, there's an art theorist uh, named Shido Tyrell who wrote a book called um, Duty Free Art, Art in the Age of Planetary Civil War. And she talks about a lot of these issues. But she finished her book by, with, a, with an essay called If You Don't Have Bread, Eat Art. Mm. And I think artists have to ask that question to themselves. What is the use of art at all in an age where we're dying from a pandemic, when a fi the financial collapse is leaving people without art, uh, without food, where our people are dying from lack of resources and our artists are dying from lack of resources? Mm. So we can talk about ownership all day long, but if we don't have our basic resources, then why make art in the first place? Mm. To be seen as artists or to move people? Or both. So I don't have an answer for you, Prima. I have more questions. But if you don't have bread, just do the art. That's all, that's but, all. But, but you know, Samuel, what is it that as everybody's tell this time it's very interesting that everybody wanted to be a listener, which is great because we really need to be listener and learner every day. Because without listening and without learning, there is no way we go next level. And without asking the right question, is super important now and we will see asking right question is so essential we will see it more and more in coming days so we are almost end of our webinar but before uh, we lost uh, masum chisti where is he okay he's back okay great so i'll come to you I, I, we lost you for a couple of minutes but here you are again i'll give you one question uh, again that you didn't get uh, to know yeah bolen apnar oi answer ta bolen amader art kon dike jacche chotto kore amader shomoy pray shesh amader ha am বানিয়ে যেটা বলতেছিলাম আর কি যে আমাদের আর্ট আসলে ডিজিটাল যাবে এটা আমি মোটিও কারণ অপরচুনিটি আমরা ইউজ করব যে অপরচুনিটি এখন আমরা প্র্যাকটিস করতেছি সেই অপরচুনিটি অবশ্যই আমরা ইউজ করব গ্রেট সো সবার কাছে আমরা এটা ফর্ম আসলে ডিফারেন্ট ফর্ম তৈরি হবে যেটা ফিজিক্যাল ওয়ার্ল্ড আসলে শুনতে পাচ্ছ সো সবাই হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ বলেন ফিজিক্যাল ওয়ার্ল্ড হ্যালো शुरू कर I so like we that should be prepared for that. I like that concept like revolutionary because after renaissance we haven't seen much revolution in the art scene so let's hope for a next revolution but before i signing off i ask one question to each of you please can you give me one question that you ask yourself during this crisis moment repeatedly please jishan um is it for me yeah first first you say what question that you ask yourself that you are searching for i mean mm -mm. first you we I follow your lead you know <laughs> um i personally feel that um, the post covid situation this covid has shown us um exactly how to run life in a bare minimum uh, level uh, so it is almost like a war situation uh, i don't know i mean so i'm just thinking after this war which has been imposed on us we didn't go into it it has been given to us after this war how much of the changes will remain and there is this 
constant pressure of economic down downturn and i'm not too sure i i'm i keep asking who will finally come out as a winner in this war wow that's that's really interesting samuel i think that's a really good question i'm and i'm struggling to find an articulation i'll be honest with you i was just like that's a great great question mm. um i think what came to mind is why am i still filming mm. you said um and why am i still filming this plant why am i still filming this person i think you said something which was there is so much content out there mm. everything feels like deja vu Uh, if you look through Instagram, every you know, like how many, how many uh, filtered images can I see in a day? Mm. So why do we film? Why am I still making art if there, if the same stories are being told over and over and over again? Do I have some fundamental belief that I can reframe something to make it meaningful to X amount of people? Mm. Um, so I think, yeah, the, the question that I asked earlier is the question I ask myself. Why do I continue making art? Uh, but maybe if I can cheat a little bit, the second question I would ask is, uh, who should I listen to? Um, and who should I listen to? You know, is it the New York Times? Is it the the major newspapers? Is it the politician? Is it my family members? Is it just my own body and my own heart, my trauma, my desire for peace or violence? Um, there are so many voices inside and outside that the question of who should I listen to, who should I give the microphone, is probably one of the biggest questions I think everybody is facing at the moment. Because if you do mute a lot of microphones, then we are faced with loneliness, the fundamental loneliness that most of us are, are faced with, which the artists, which most artists are, are well aware of that loneliness. Mm. But most people try everything they can to not face that loneliness. So how do I both face the loneliness and also be mindful about what I'm listening to and who I'm listening to? How do I best face that loneliness might be the question I'm asking myself. It's very interesting that it is paradoxing. Loneliness, narcissism, it's all together. It's super paradox situation we are in. Shubho, so what is the question that you're going to you are asking yourself constantly? I will ask the same question that Samuel asked, but I am still trying to find the answer. Why I am doing art? That I find one thing that um, I am not doing art. I am just doing my activities, regular activities. But if someone tell that this is my artwork or art activities, so it is art activities. But I still trying to work thing for the people. Those who actually are seeking those inspiration, I mean, will take this as inspiration. Maybe mm. not. And also, and that is one thing that uh, I'm. Uh, we are really hopeful that there are a lot of uh, this this online uh, thing. I mean, this uh, this online pro art projects or something. These are new actually. And uh, like Google has begun the uh, museum. Uh, art project. I mean, uh, how they uh, virtually go to the museums and something in 2010. Um, so when they started this, and now we are doing this thing. So like, uh, this is not actually new, but uh, now we reactivate our energy in this way. So I'm really hopeful in such way, and that is true that out there, there are people are starving. People uh, need money. And a lot of things. This is not the time to make like fancy artwork or something. But uh, if we think that these activities somehow help people in in an inspirational way, uh, those who, those people are thinking in a creative way. Uh, like uh, so, maybe it is a help for those people, not not in a other way. And uh, Ashim, what would be the question mm. that you constantly asking yourself? Actually, uh, in the lockdown time, in every day, I am trying to make something different as an artist, as an organization. Every day, I am trying to discover myself in a new way. How I can do survive? How how I can uh, promote the organization? 
and what will actually happen post covid how we can do active our activities so this is basically the sarsin as well as the question to me and as well as the community we belong masum chishti prashno ta bolen apni ki prashno te jorjorito ei muhurte दुनिया मान टोटल वारल्ड एर लाइफ स्ट्राचार क्वेश्चन तो शिखते लंगे मानुसुअल थैंकली but so great to see you all guys i am really uh, grateful to you all to make my evening so bright thank you so much prima thank, thank you, you. bye bye thank you so much thank you thank you all thank you all ciao bye 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 bye